Sandra Bullock called and she wants her movie back. You're watching Beyond the Chillers review of Moneyball. I believe there's a championship team that we could afford because everyone else undervalues them. Like an island of misfit toys. We want you at first base. I've only ever played catcher. It's not that hard, Scott. Tell him, watch. It's incredibly hard. He can't throw. But what can he do? You want me to speak? Yeah. He gets on base. We are card counts. We're going to turn the odds on the casino. I'm heading in. Text me to play by play. Wait, what? I don't watch the games. Remember a little movie called The Blind Side? It lived up to its name, appearing out of nowhere to become the eighth highest grossing film of 2009 and winning a Best Actress Oscar for Bullock. Now, two years later, we've got Pitt playing another real-life suburban American who was an underdog in the world of sports but had faith and pioneered. Will he get the gold too? There is already strong buzz in his favor. Yes, playing a mental patient and fancy special effects both resulted in a nomination, but no glory. However, the Academy is pretty excited to see Pitt embrace his advancing age and play, well, a regular guy. Now, while the behind-the-scenes story of the Oakland Athletics is indeed fascinating, the behind-the-scenes story of this movie is equally so. The film was originally going to be directed by Steven Soderbergh, but when Sony learned he'd be making a non-traditional picture featuring things like on-camera interviews with the actual players, they pulled the plug. Soderbergh was replaced with Capote director Bennett Miller, and while Brad Pitt stayed on board, Jonah Hill replaced Dimitri Martin for the Paul de Podesta role. Although, in an ironic turn of events, Jonah Hill now looks like Dimitri Martin. The film is also a reteaming of the social network producer Scott Rudin and writer Aaron Sorkin, leading one to wonder if Sony is crunching Oscar stats like Bean did baseball stats. So while the Academy seems to like Moneyball, will audiences? It is, after all, missing the religious and racial undertones that helped make The Blind Side a hit and are currently helping The Help. Let's go find out. What did you think of Moneyball? I liked it a lot. Moneyball was very inspiring. Great. Oh, great? Very Ooh. good movie. It lived up to my expectations. It was well done, well acted. It was a good story. I'm a big baseball fan, so, uh, you know, good storyline. And there's a lot of things in the, in the movie I didn't realize were, were true. Well, what made you come and see it today? Well, I'm a sports fan. Yeah? From Canada. Are you familiar at all with what happened with Billy Bean and everything? And that scandal? Mm -hmm. and... Uh, no. So do you think they explained it well? Did you learn a lot? Oh, yeah, yeah. As far as the, you know, computer-generated stats and how to put together a team, but obviously Ooh. it doesn't produce championships. Bottom line, this is a movie about crunching numbers. Yes. Is it exciting, then? It's still exciting. It's not like they spend scenes like with really weird jargon or something like that. Oh, no, like they that. don't? No, it's not that. Well, Brad Pitt's getting some Oscar buzz. Okay. Do you agree with that? I agree. He did a great job. You can tell that also he's he's very familiar with baseball and, and oh, really? sports. Oh, yeah. You can feel that he felt comfortable in the role and that, you know, he knows the terminology. I'll see, like, anything with Brad Pitt, pretty much. Are you because, a Brad Pitt fan? Yeah, well, because, like, he's like a star, but he makes movies that are, like, important. Like, he doesn't make just stupid movies. I think the, uh, the chap that was behind the scheme also deserves Oscar oh, consideration yeah. too. Oh, you thought he was that good? Oh, he was outstanding. The truth of the matter is it was balanced, counterbalanced by, um, what was his name? Oh, Jonah Hill? Jonah Hill, yeah. Oh, my yeah. wife and I are here from uh, Indiana. It's my 40th birthday and we're going oh, to Yankees Red Sox birthday. game tonight. Well, thank you. It's a baseball day. Yes, yeah, so it was raining. Are you going to watch the raining. game differently now? Uh, no, I mean, because we win championships. The Yankees win championships and obviously you don't need a formula to do that. You do need a uh, talent a lot of money though yeah that's a different kind of number it is it is so <laughs> i wasn't sure i was going to go there i didn't know how big a fan you were i didn't want to no i'm a huge yankees fan well, yeah. you know but you know yeah. people say that that they need to put a salary cap on baseball but if you had all the money in the world wouldn't you try to go out and get the best players if you owned a business don't you want to get the best people to work for you especially if it works so it's not steinbrenner it's not the yankees fault it's major league baseball's fault so yeah. Shame on those people that say that we do it the wrong way. What would you say to somebody who's like, I don't know if I should see this movie. I'm not a baseball fan. Should I go? What do you think? They should see the movie, regardless. There's a fair amount of baseball in it, but I still think it's character-driven and thematically rich. I don't go to movies very often, um, but um, I want to see this one again. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I'd give it a 10. Probably an 8 or a 9. I think I'd go with an 8. At least an 8. 11. Yes, there were a lot of baseball hats coming out of Moneyball, and the film obviously connected with sports fans, as overall they gave the film a 9. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok. Want to go even further beyond the trailer? Then be sure to check out reviews for this week's other new releases by clicking over here. Also, there are two new movie bites. The first is a list of the top 10 cat movies in honor of Puss in Boots' upcoming film, and it features real cats. And the second is another comic book movie costume discussion with Agent of Style, this time about the Avengers. 
Finally, you can get the latest box office news on Movie Math by clicking over here. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching.